wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Somebody call the HOA. We have a situation here, guys. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Joseph McFarlane. We are today doing the Boynton Beach vlog. It is super hot outside. Summertime, South Florida, 90 degrees, very humid. If I look hot, it's because it is hot. So today, Savannah and I are going to be adventuring into Boynton Beach, Florida. Nothing is planned. We're gonna just go and see the sights have some fun, grab a bite to eat, maybe grab a couple of drinks, and just see where the road takes us in Boynton Beach, Florida. Right behind me, brand new construction. These are luxury rentals right on the Intracoastal. It overlooks the water canals. You can see the boats going up and down the canal right off of Woolbright in Boynton Beach. As you can see, it's going to be beautiful when it's all finished. Here's a couple of pictures here of what's gonna happen. I highly recommend going to Prime Catch Restaurant, Boynton Beach, right on Woolbright Boulevard. Savannah and I just had an amazing lunch. Food, phenomenal. Service, very good. The car is getting pulled up. Hopefully the AC is cold and we are going to take the next step in our adventure of Boynton Beach, Florida. Stay tuned. Savannah's in the house. Hey guys. It's so hot in South Florida right now. My camera mount mounted to my windshield looks to be melting off. As a result, I'm gonna be holding the camera today by hand. That's how hot it is in South Florida. Savannah and I just had wonderful lunch at Prime Catch Restaurant in Boynton Beach, overlooking the beautiful Intracoastal. We could see the boats going up and down. The food was phenomenal. The service was good. It was delicious. I just think that I shouldn't have much as I did, but food was delicious. We are headed to the Boynton Beach Art District, or BBAD, or BBAD for short. So we're gonna go and drive through first, see what's going on, see what it looks like. We've actually never been there before. My wife and I are not very artsy people, and so we've just never visited. So this time around, we're gonna check it out. All right, guys, I'm giving you the grand tour of the Boynton Beach Art District. To be quite honest with you, it's really not much to write home about. I mean, we have some graffiti here. I'm just gonna go ahead and say this, that if there is some type of art festival, some type of event that's happening, then I imagine that this parking lot that we're in right now opens up, probably get these barbecues going right here, probably have a lot of people that come through with their artwork. Maybe these garage doors open up, the bays open up, and you can see the artists work and stuff like that. But for the most part, there's nothing happening here. There's graffiti, which is now art, some type of metal structure here. Savannah decided to stay in the car. Two reasons, one, she thought this area looked a little bit shady. And number two, it's getting ready to rain. Check out that old bug, pretty cool, right? Ah. Ask and you shall receive. What's going on over here now? Again, some more artwork. Not exactly Wynwood. By the way, if you're into art, check out Wynwood Miami. I'll probably shoot a completely different video with regard to that. This is probably better off being visited either on a weekend or again for some type of event. That's actually really beautiful. Here's something else I want to show you. Check it out. In Florida, over here it's sunny. And over here, it's about to come down some hard rain. Typical weather in South Florida this time of year. Check out this cool low rider. Low rider, get a little lower. So we definitely found some art, just not much else popping off around here right now. Another metal structure. I think the rest of the stuff that's here, guys, is mostly mechanic shops. So again, here we are in the Boynton Beach Art District. Not much happening. In fact, nothing happening at all. I would definitely consider coming back to visit if there was an event. Don't count on just randomly coming here on a Friday afternoon, expecting to see something. Let's go to the next stop. I'm really hoping that it doesn't rain on us, but I wanted to capture how beautiful the ocean is right behind me. And I wanted to show you, again, how quickly the weather changes in South Florida this time of year. Check out west, dark, ominous rain clouds, storm clouds, if you will. Hopefully that holds off, and hopefully we get more of this beauty right behind us right here. Let's hope for the best.
Very quiet. So we decided to come down to Oceanfront Park in Boynton Beach, Florida. As you can see, it's extremely chill here. This is not a wild place, nothing like South Beach or Fort Lauderdale Beach or even Deerfield Beach for that matter. Very laid back, very quiet, absolutely a great place to come to relax. As you can see, the beach is super clean and Silvana pointed something out, really important. There's no seaweed washed up onto the shore. Currently in South Florida, we're having a major seaweed problem. For more information about that, be sure to stay tuned to the very end of this video and you can click one of the other videos on the left or right hand side to learn more about the seaweed problem in South Florida. That being said, I don't see any issues with seaweed here today at this beach, and that's pretty awesome. And so for our next stop, I'm not sure, actually, I forgot. We have to check the agenda, but we'll be knowing that in just a couple of short minutes when we get back to the car. Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Somebody call the HOA. We have a situation here, guys. Flamingo mailbox. Somebody please dial the HOA. Let's go, City Hall. We're going to City Hall to report them to the HOA. I hear thunder rolling in, so I want to be really quick, but here we are now at City Hall in Boynton Beach. Absolutely beautiful. They did this renovation just a couple of years ago, so the building is brand new. This is an amphitheater, and as you can see, there's tons of green space. They have all different types of festivals and shows and what have you here. But look, here's the most impressive thing that I've noticed. Check out this amazing banyan tree. I mean, this thing is like straight out of Jurassic Park. Look at it. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, this tree is probably hundreds of years old. Beautiful. Like, very tall. Yeah. <laughs> Children's Center, City Hall, Amphitheater, beautiful, brand new city center buildings. Nice to know that the taxpayer dollars are being used for a very good cause. Check out this cool artwork right here. Silvana, where shall we go next? We should go somewhere where perhaps there's music, some ice cream maybe. Ice cream would be Sweet. a good idea, yeah. All right, let's go check it out. We decided to take a quick pit stop at Monte Cristo Cigar Bar in Boynton Beach. Cool little place, very fun atmosphere, very relaxed atmosphere. As you can see, it's not very busy. It's Friday afternoon. We're just gonna enjoy a quick refreshing beverage, a very small acid Blondie Maduro cigar. My wife is enjoying a beautiful espresso martini. And I think after here, we're going to go and check out the... One of the breweries? The breweries. There's a couple of breweries and we're just going to go check out real quick. And then we have dinner plans, not necessarily dinner reservations. I should probably call them and make a reservation. At a very special restaurant, but we're going to keep it a surprise until the end of the video. All right, guys, so we made it to the beer district. I just named it that. I'm naming it the beer district. The reason why is because there's multiple breweries here. Due South, Nobo, not to be confused with Nobu in Miami, and Copper Point. I will say that it was difficult to find the other two breweries because they were a little bit off the beaten path in a commercial park. This particular restaurant was very easy to find because obviously they had the sign frontage and we ended up here as a result. The inside is super cool, very busy. Busy, not jam-packed, but busy in that it was buzzing. As soon as we walked in, we recognized that this was the place to be. I was greeted very quickly by the bartender and she offered us a bunch of different libations and spirits, asked us our preferences, which is very cool, very high level of service. Also, I'll say this, they have food trucks here to make sure that your appetite is quenched. We have our flight for consideration. For now, we're going to enjoy this and we will catch you on the next stop. My 
wife and I have decided to go to local fine dining restaurant Baciami. Italian cuisine combined with prime steakhouse. Not only was the service stellar, but the food was absolutely awesome. Savannah chose to go with a traditional pasta dish and my appetite definitely got the best of me and I decided to go with the bone-in ribeye. I highly recommend Baciami restaurant in Boynton Beach, Florida if you're visiting. I would only suggest that you definitely call ahead to make a reservation because it could be very busy and they may not have a table for you on a busy night. Well, there you have it, folks. As always, if you haven't already, click the subscribe button below. Don't forget to ring the bell that's right next to it so you can be first to be notified whenever we make brand new content of what it's like to live in sunny South Florida. If you found this video to be educational, entertaining, or engaging, please share it with a friend or family member. Share it to your social media. That's the best way that you can say thank you and it helps us to continue creating more content like this one. And of course, as always, many blessings. Till next time.